How are we going, Light Gun fans? Today we are going to add PlayStation 2 to our basic build, and the PlayStation 2 emulator is available to download pre configured, but you'll have to supply your own uh, ISOs for this one. Shouldn't be too difficult to find PlayStation 2 Light Gun games. So let's get started with that. So, first of all, download the PCSX2 emulator that I've pre configured. You can see I'm in my J Drive launch box emulators. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack that here. I'm running Windows 11. So I'll extract. You can see that's put that folder there. So the zip now can be deleted. That's all we need in that one at the moment. We'll go back to launch box. And first of all, we're going to install or set up PlayStation 2 emulator. So if we go in tools, manage, emulators, we're going to add. So emulator name, so we've got PCSX2. And most of this will be pre-configured by LaunchBox, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Application path, well that's in our emulator, so if we browse, we want Launch box, emulators, PCSX2, and the application path. That's that one. That's linking at the right place. You can leave everything else as it stands. Associate to platform with PlayStation 2 default. Okay, so that's done. We can close that. So next we need to put the game in the right folder. So if we come out of that. So this is where I've got my game. So we'll just select one. So we'll do, we'll do end game. So I'll copy that. So I've got it in a different file. And what you need to do is in your launch box, games, new folder, Sony 2. And we'll pop that in there. Just like that. There's another way of moving your games. If you want to add them by LaunchBox, LaunchBox will give you the choice to move the game into a specific folder, or you can set it up yourself and then point to the specific folder. So we'll go back to LaunchBox, and we're going to Tools, Import ROM, Next. So add a file. So that's looking at emulator, so we need to go back to LaunchBox, Games, Sony PlayStation 2, here's his ISO, so that, next, platform it's going to run on, Sony PlayStation 2, emulator, PCSX2, so this is what I said to you just two minutes ago, you can move the files into the specific folder, so if you've got them on a different drive, you can just tell LaunchBox to Add me these games and put them in the location of LaunchBox games, Sony PlayStation 2. Or if you've done it like I have and put the game inside your folder already, you want to use in the current location. So next, and then the artwork you want to pick. And if you've got an Emu Movies account, you can configure it and add it here. Gives you more option of pictures and videos if you've got an account so we'll go next i'll leave all those empty so the game you want to install is end game sony playstation 2 finish so what that'll do now it'll look for the artwork and it will add the game so if we look down sony playstation 2 it's showing the clear logo so we can go view, image group, we can change to box. So that's your game installed. As simple as that. So I'll do another one, but I'll do it the other way. That's going to move the file. So we'll go tools, import ROM. Next, add a file. So I will look in my other launch box or anywhere else that you've got it on your hard drive. So... Launchbox 2, Games, PlayStation 2, and let's do Dino Stalker. So open, 
that's it. So I've added it next. Sony PlayStation 2, PCSX2. Now I'm going to say move or copy. Uh, because I've got the other one set up, we'll do copy. So what this is going to do then is going to make a copy from wherever you've got it stored and put it into your launch box folder. Or you can move. I'm going to do a copy. Next. Artwork selected again. Next. So it's asking me what I want to copy. I want to copy everything. So next. That's the game. PlayStation 2. So it's going to put it in our correct folder. So now it's going to move that borders and get all the artwork and put it together so you go as easy as that so that's how you add extra emulators extra games so tools manage emulators you can add your emulators which i've supplied and tools import rom files that you probably have to find yourself but it is as simple as that so you're going to build up from the basic pre-configured build that I've given everybody and add a few extra bits. The emulators are available pre-configured and ready. You just need to add your ROMs. So just a quick one that somebody asked me how to add extra emulators, extra games to the basic build. Well, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Any more questions, just drop us a comment. See you later.